Let's go. Got my confidence up, I got slapped by Noah. He got me shining like mineral oil. Put me in the door with them mites and bulls. Let's go. Looking like I just won the award. The way that I'm chopped, I should go out on tour. I did it by myself like an entrepreneur. I know that she bad, that's the reason she's poor. She liking me cause I'm chopped up by Noah. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Slice Guy, Lil Noah, back with another video. Today I got my boy Terio on the chair. We finna give him a burst mid taper to compliment his fro. Starting off this taper, we set in that ball guideline and have moon like shape right where the top of the ear end and remove the excess hair. Now we're going in with the lever open on our magic clips to sit in this second guideline. He recently had a haircut, so the guideline is not gonna be as prominent, but you need to get it as clean as you possibly can. The reason I stress neater guidelines is for a better focus on what you're doing within that specific guideline. So what we're doing is gradually working our way down, closing that lever little by little until this section is blended. Now I'm using the tire claw method with the lever open in this area, trying to stretch out those tight curls and lay them down. Immediately I'm going against the grain, still with the lever open using my corners, trying to break up this dark area. For a lot of barbers, this is a finished taper, but we're going to go to extra mile detail and taking this blend to the next level. To achieve that, we're stretching this blend and minimizing dark areas. We want a smooth transition, as smooth as possible. This is me using no guards, but for the first time in my videos, I will be showing the other side of the taper and I will be using guards, so stay tuned. I'm still continuing my process, doing a lot of repetitive steps, but hitting different areas. Comb is your best friend when using no guards or using guards or just cutting hair in general. It helps tame the hair, T-A-M-E, and also get it back in position so you see exactly what you're working with truthfully. To start off the back taper, I'm prepping my area, and then I will go in to sit in the ball guideline. Now I'm applying this second guideline with the lever open, trying to keep it as even as possible, going up like a half an inch, working my way to both sides, staying consistent. As you can see, I just touched the side of my lever, so this representation of me starting to work my way down until this guideline is blended. Now I got my Babylon Slow Pros with the number one guard on, with the lever all the way open. This is like my first time using the Babylon Slow Pros. I think this may be the second haircut. And this part of the reason why I didn't use this clipper on the first side of taper with no guards, but I must say this is a great clipper. Uh, I'm still working my way down, closing that lever little by little at the moment. It has the notches on the side with the click lever, and I think that'll be great for a lot of beginner barbers that's watching. It'll also be great for current barbers. It'll just take a little getting used to if you are usually using clippers without the click lever system. I got my 1.5 guard on now. I'm still using wall guards because I was skeptical about giving the Babylon guards a try. But I must say, after using the Babylon guards, they are tremendous. The 1.5 guard in particular, like they have some great guards. So I strongly would be using those a lot. But as of now, I'm still working that 1.5 guard. Got my lever all the way open and gradually closing it. Uh, I'm skipping the number two guard because I'm just flicking into that blend. Uh, I don't want to take it any higher than it already is. 
I'm just using that precaution because I'm not the last person that cut his hair. I'm trying to get the feel of these clippers at the moment, so now I'm coming in with the no guards and this bigger workspace. I have the lever open trying to take out this faint line, and as I move up, I'm just detailing, hitting certain dark spots to bring this taper together. The biggest tip I can give about using no guards is take your time. You already cutting out a lot of time without using any guards, so just take out those few moments to hit the right areas and make them count. Cause like in boxing, if you throwing a lot of punches and not making them count, it's gonna only drain yourself and it's not gonna look good on your end. So, take your time, hit the right areas, uh, take whatever the tape will give you, and that blend gonna come out, voila. Doing the edge up, we want to stay out as far as possible. Basically, not pushing the edge up in to where it's pushed back and look ugly when it grows back. So you want to stay out as far as possible and get it as crispy as you possibly can. The best way to achieve this is prep work. I went in with my number one guard, tapering the edge up, and then I went in with my holding spray to lock those hairs in so it won't move from the vibration of the tremors. And then I just got the hidden with my Mike Tyson boys. Yeah, I hear what old money said. And now I'm from the tape of the front edge up the same way like I said I did on the back side edge up. Got the number one guard on, hitting the outermost hairs, um, hitting that taper area, smoothing it out, and kind of flicking up if I see anything. But other than that, we're going to use that holding spray to lock these hairs in so they can stiffen up. And then we're going to get the hidden again. I'm gonna start with the curve first. I'm gonna start at the top with the curve and then I'm gonna go to the bottom and meet in the middle. And then I'm gonna just freshen that line up, comb as I go and make it as crispy as I possibly can. Get every loose hair, I'm talking about not a single loose hair gonna hang over after I get done combing.
Now I'm doing a vertical bar on this side. Uh, I'm getting it as crispy as I possibly can without pushing it back, combing as I go. Sometimes y'all can't correctly visualize where I'm gonna put the edge up because y'all might think I'm going into a darker area, which I'm not gonna do. I'm gonna keep it as natural as possible. Like right here, you see how natural it looked and more lighter it was because I didn't go back into the darker area, even though I could have got it more crispy, but I'm not. But now I'm doing a curve on this side working my way doing the uh top of the curve and then i'm pulling from the bottom and meeting in the middle and then i'm just going to re-crispify you're going to see it come together as if he I already had some type of enhancement like this shit just crazy god damn you chopper no spray By the way, my boy paid one for this haircut. He had 100 in cash and filed on cash shop, and it just be worth it. Best believe I ain't putting none of my caption that is not true. This shit all facts. But with the front edge up, I start in the middle and work my way to one side, get this side solidified and locked in, and now I'm on to the next side. I'm staying consistent as possible. I'm stepping back to make sure I'm going straight across and getting them corners on point. There's no way you can get this amount of detail and amount of accuracy in a 20 minute, 30 minute haircut. So don't be scared to take your time because it'll pay off. I'm applying the enhancements. I already started with the front edge up now. I'm working my way to the vertical bars and the curve. It was not applying as good as I would like because the container was running low on fibers, but I refilled it off camera and applied a good amount that I would like. Now I'm going in with the holding spray to lock in those fibers and freeze it with the blow dryer. And then I'm going to go back in with my Mike Tyson boys to get that crispy white edge line. Get as crispy as we possibly can and just take it to the next level. And then I'm going to take care of the facial hair. Then we're going to see the final results. This shit is immaculate. I'm going to see. And everybody watching can do the same haircut if you serious. I just gave you out a recipe. All you got to do is apply it and be confident. It's not rocket science. I just proved it. Booyah, it's your boy Slice Guy Lenore back with some more heat. I appreciate everybody for tapping in, literally every single one of y'all. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, be sure to leave me a thumbs up. In the comment section, let me know what you think about this cut. We got a blended splendid all the way around the back. Both side tapers, super crispy over the ear, super crispy on the front edge up, accuracy on point on 100%, I'm gone, slap.